Hello everyone and welcome to another Fatal Rose Creations tutorial. I got a request on how to render animations by a friend so I figured I'd just go ahead and make a tutorial of it to post on YouTube to be simpler. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you should have done is gone in game, dressed your sim, and then you should have the Sims 4 Ripper installed to get a DAE. If you don't know how to use the Sims 4 Ripper, I have a tutorial on posing your, your sim in Blender. I'll link that down in the description. Um, you get your DAE the same way and mm, rendering an animation is a lot like rendering a pose. So I recommend that you do that first. So once you have your DAEs, you're just gonna go to File, Import, Collada and bring them in. I've got two that I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna bring them both in. Okay, and I'm just going to leave them on top of each other because the pose, the animation I've chosen is a couple's animation and um, they're meant to be on top of each other for it to work. So the first thing you want to do is do your shading. I'll just bring that over so you can see it better. I turn my specular all the way down, grab this color, drive it to specular, then shift A, shader, oh mixed shader and you're going to drop it here and then bring this down and the alpha to fac and then you're going to press shift a for the transparent bsdf and you're going to do like that and then you're just going to do the same for the glass both of my people have a glass and a non-glass so just the same thing And if you have a second sim, again, oh, and once you do your glass, bring this bar up and while still clicked on the glass, go here to material and viewport and change blend mode to alpha hashed. And then we can go to our second sim. Alright, so once you have your sims all ready with their textures, you're going to go to this corner and change the shader editor to nonlinear animation. And you're going to click on your first sim and click pose. And then up here, change it to pose mode. And you should see it look like that. Just press A, I, lock rotation and scale. Drop this down and click delete strips while it's highlighted. And now we need to go to Sims 4 Studio and grab our animation. So once you're in Sims 4 Studio, you just need to go open up your package file. So just go to my projects and then it should be wherever you downloaded it. Then go to clips and click on your animation and click export and then save it to wherever you want to. Now you can close out Sim4 Studio unless you're going to do more stuff. So while still having all this yellow, go to File, Append, and get that first animation. So here's the blend file, then you click Action and the animation. Then up here you go Add, Add, Action Strip, and find the animation. And then we want to see how long the animation is so we know what to set our frames to. So this animation is really long. So it ends a little before 1100. So I'm just going to set my end frame to 1100. And that should just be down here at the bottom. That way it'll render the whole animation for the video and now I'm going to click out of pose mode and then click pose on my second sim and go back into pose mode 
Make sure before you do the lock route on this one, you click to unhighlight this one. Then A, I, lock, rotation, and scale. Drop this down, delete strips, file, append, the pose, or the animation, action, and then double click on that. Then add, add action strip, and add it in. And so as you can see, they are posed together. And so we don't really need that right now. So I'm just going to uh, make it smaller. And so the first thing you should do is go back into object mode and we can bring this up a little bit. So this is like the timeline of the entire animation. So we just want to take a look at it to make sure it looks properly. So I'm just going to press play. And so for this, all we're looking for is making sure that the animation is working how it's intended. As you can see in the beginning, it looked really weird, but I think that's just how the animator set up the pose. And so there's a few things I notice is that one, they come out of the ring, and two, I think the ring is a little uh, lower than they are so I'm just gonna adjust the seam a little bit to compensate for that so I'm just gonna do that and then I'm just gonna make it bigger okay so the next thing we're gonna do is start this back over and we're gonna work with our camera so I'm just going to go over here and go to view and change camera to view and by clicking that box and then I can click here and so now when I move my console I can move my camera so what I'm gonna do is get my first angle so here's my camera I've got it selected so what I can do is I can just press I and then lock, rot, and scale. And you should see like a little dot pop up. And so it's going to lock the camera right there. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it out a little bit. So you see the camera is locked in place. So I'm just going to move it forward to move the pose. Or the animation now once it hits about here I want the camera to come out a little bit to catch the arm so I'm just going to press I and lock rot again and so now we'll see the camera moves with the animation. And now we can move the animation forward a little more. And at this point, I want the camera to move where I can still see their faces. So I'm going to press I and lock right again. So you just keep doing this until you're how you want it done. Alright, so as you can see, I've locked my camera into a bajillion different places. Once you have it all done, just scroll it back to the beginning and watch it one more time to make sure it's how you want it. Now that I've watched the animation to make sure I like it, I'm just going to go into shading mode and just take a quick look at how it looks 
as far as the lighting and stuff, and so it looks fine. The reason I like to render a test image is because it tells you how long each frame is going to take and to render the video it's going to render it frame by frame. So like I'm at a thousand frames, I know this one takes six seconds so it's going to take six thousand seconds which I can't math very well, I think that's like the hundred minutes which is you get the point I'm trying to make. If I want it to render a little faster, I have it set at 100 samples right now. I can turn it down to 50. The lower you turn down your settings, the lower quality. So you just gotta kinda play with it and see what works best for your computer. Once you have your samples picked, you're gonna go to output. And you can also change your frame start and end here. And right here under output is where you change where you want it to save to. So I'm going to have it save right here. And then you're going to change it from PNG to FM Megpeg. Yeah. To that one. And then all you have to do after that is hit render animation. <laughs> 